God is looking for some risk takers. Some people to say, God, I can't see it, but I'm going to step on it. I don't know how you're going to do it, but I'm going to trust you for it. Oh, we hear people say that seeing is believing, but in the kingdom, you believe and then you see. So it is. The church is playing it safe. And in our story today, it fascinated me that I, I came to realize that Ray Charles is from Albany. Huh. Verse 22 says, then he came to Bethsaida and they brought a blind man to him and begged him to touch him. Now, in the way of context, in that moment in human history, blindness was stunning. It was stunning. It was it was significant like no other event in the life of a family to have a child that would eventually go blind. It was stunning. Not only was stunning, was it stunning? It was devastating. It was devastating because of what the Jews believed about blindness. They believed that blindness was incurable. That under no circumstances, if you ever became blind, you would never, ever see again. That was one thing they believed about it. The second thing that the Jews believed about blindness is that blindness was a curse from God. We know that from John chapter 9 for those of you who go to Sunday school. John chapter 9, there's a story in that Bible, in that story, this man was born blind and the disciples said to Jesus, who sinned? Am I right about it? Was it his mama and daddy or was it the boy? Because they associated sin as being a curse from God. Who sinned in this circumstance? Jesus didn't really give them a full and a complete answer because he knew what they believed about blindness, but they didn't know who they were asking that question to. So here it is. Blindness was stunning. Verse 22 says that he came to the town called Bethsaida. Is that in your Bible? Bethsaida was the city of Andrew, Peter, and Philip. It was a fishing town. It was a, a hard town. The people were hard. Jesus could do very few miracles in that town because of the faithlessness of the people. And the Bible says, the Bible says that Jesus took this man by the hand and he led him out of Albany. No, no, but... He led him out of Bethsaida. I wondered why did Jesus take the man by the hand? Isn't it good to know that God is reaching for us when we don't know that he's reaching for us or we can't see? Isn't it good to know that God will take you by the hand when you can't find you? Isn't it good to know that if you're blind and your situation is dark, that God will take you by the hand and lead you out of the town? Why? Why, why did Jesus lead Lead this man out of the town I believe because Jesus wanted to remove him from a faithless environment listen when you're in the wrong environment the people in the environment will articulate and express their limitations toward you Jesus took him by the hand and led him out of Bethsaida. I want to say to someone today, do not let people in the environment or in the culture dick to dick take to you what you cannot do. Do not allow them to say that it can't be done. Do not allow them to say that it is impossible. My grandmama would say that God specializes. I didn't know what she meant until I got grown. That means that whatever your situation is, God is a specialist. He's not just practicing. He specializes. Hallelujah. If you have an impossible situation, God specializes. 